we are starting from scratch. To do so, I can create an STL. This is going to be my backbone for my sculpture. And my starting point of this backbone is this. I can say, I don't know, like, say 50 meters quite high, quite tall, okay? And usually what we do is basically we divide a curve, right? We divide curve, but this time we can say it divides itself with the same amount of, like, with the same length usually, right? Or we can divide it with the number of length or sort of lengths that can be numerically controlled. However, how I can use this uh, graph mapper to control the curve division? So as I as you already know, I can create I, I'll create a range. I say nine, which is going to be giving me a ten values. And let's grab a I don't know like X power kind of a thing. And you see we have nine different or ten different values here. And if I again divide this, I will be dividing it like let's say divide curve I'll have 11 points but they're all equal how I get it work around with this so if I go to curve and underneath analysis you'll see evaluate curve somewhere here yes evaluate curve is working as like evaluate length uh, sorry evaluate surface we have to Right click to curve and reparameterize, therefore, we now work within 0 and 1. And this is going to be my curve. And if I connect this parameter to parameter, you see now everything is divided with the same amount of values, right? Because when we when we connect the panel and check these values, you see they're almost the same, right? Almost the same. Like changing super super small but if i started to play around with this what i started to see is i can control where i am having the uh having the next point so if i do something like this my points at the beginning are very close to one another and it go as it goes up the distance in between goes higher i can do the other way around as well i can do the other way around so it starts with a sort of a distance in between and so it gets smaller towards the end i can copy this and paste and then test another one for instance i don't know like this guy and then if i connect this what i'm seeing now it's a bit like a, it's a bit sort of a symmetric something that we may not want to have but we can use this as well or we can copy this and paste this and try to come up with, I don't know, like a, a parabola and connect the parabola to here. You see, when we exceed between zero, when we exceed one, it doesn't have the point, so parabola may not be a good option. And, or like a conic maybe. You see, conic is working just like x uh, power of x, so we can use this guy as well. Uh, bipolarity, we can use that one as well. So it's completely up to you. Uh, let's stick to this one, and this is basically it for this video. I'll be just grouping this in, and then put out pull out a scribble on even curve division and put this here as well so in the next video in the next video what I'll be talking about uh, is basically you if we finish this in the next video what I'll be talking about is how we can create sort of geometries on top of these points and then we can articulate those geometries so stay tuned